Hello everyone, welcome to ACCA Taxation Lectures. Now this lecture is uh, uh, for F6 and P6 together again because the material is exactly the same for F6 and P6. Uh, for P6 students you will find the same stuff in your P6 notes uh, while I am using the F6 notes. However, you do not have to worry about it because for both F6 and P6 this is exactly the same material. Right now, this is a, a VAT special schemes um, chapter number 28 of uh, F6 notes. And if you're a P6 student, you'll have to find out in your uh, VAT section or just check in the contents where the VAT special schemes are. Now, for VAT, uh, for uh, taxation purposes uh, uh, within the UK, there are three different schemes which are uh, available to the taxpayers, so they can choose any of these schemes subject to them qualifying for them. So there are certain conditions, if they qualify for them conditions, then they can use them schemes. The first of which is cash accounting scheme, which uh, uh, let me share the question with you through the screen share option. Not the question, sorry. I always forget the proper word. Notes. <coughs> Excuse me. So the notes uh, on your screen, as you can see, were special schemes. First one is a cash accounting scheme. Now, cash. Uh, normally, what happens is that uh, uh, what we do is we will uh, we will pay the VAT or we will charge the VAT on the time when we have issued the invoice, and so that is on the date on which we have issued the invoice or we have received the invoice. So that is normally what happens. So, cash accounting scheme basically is uh, you have to charge the VAT on the basis of cash receipts and payments, not on the cash uh, uh, cash invoice basis. So you have to uh, charge in uh, charge VAT whenever the customer has paid you. Now, in the normal circumstances, in the absence of cash accounting scheme, what happens is that whenever I have received an invoice, I will have to pay uh, VAT on that. Likewise, whenever I issue the invoice, uh, I will charge VAT on that, and I eventually I will have to pay to HM Revenue Custom, regardless of the customer paying me that amount or not. So, say for example, in the absence of cash accounting scheme, if I have uh, uh, I, if I have sold something to my customer, I have raised the invoice and I have charged VAT into it. I have issued the invoice to the customer, but the customer said that I will pay after six months, say for example, or after three months. Now, although the customer will pay me after three or six months, I have to pay to HM Revenue Custom instantly. I have to pay what? I have to pay VAT amount on that uh, supply of goods or services. So I will pay to HM Revenue Customs straight away, however the customer might not pay at all. So that will become bad debt as we have seen in our previous video as well. So in this case, if we if you have a cash accounting scheme, now in cash accounting scheme what would happen is that I will not, uh, I will not charge that until the customer has paid me. So it will be on the cash receipt basis and likewise for cash payment basis as well. So it will not be on the cash invoice basis, it will be on the cash receipt and cash payment basis. Now as you can see on your video screen, uh, according to this scheme, the VAT is accounted for on the basis of cash receipts and payments rather than the basis of invoice issued or paid, invoice issued or received, sorry. So what is the benefit? The benefit is that uh, it is automatic bad debt relief, which means that I, uh, I, will, pay, uh, the, I will pay the VAT to HM Revenue Custom when I have received from the customer. So when I receive from customer, I will pay to HM Revenue Custom then. So if the customer doesn't pay me at all, I will not pay to HM Revenue Custom. So there is no uh, refund from the HM Revenue Customs. I do not need to claim the bad debt relief, so automatic bad debt relief will be available. However, there are certain conditions to join this scheme. Taxable turnover uh, must not be uh, exceeding 1.35 million. So that is a, a VAT exclusive amount. So if your taxable turnover is less than 1.35 million, you can join this. However, you must leave this if you have joined this scheme. Uh, but after joining, if your taxable turnover exceeds 1.6 million, then, th then the trader will have to leave this scheme. Right now, what is the joining limit? 1.35 million, and what is the leaving limit? You must leave if your taxable turnover reach 1.6 million or exceed that. Basically, it's exceed that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, these same conditions, these two same conditions apply to the uh, annual accounting scheme as well. Now, what is our annual accounting scheme? That is our next scheme. Now, in annual accounting scheme, what would happen is that we will. Uh, we will uh, raise one single VAT return, so we'll have to submit one single VAT return per annum. 
We do not have to do it on the uh, VAT period basis. No, our VAT period is for one quarter, which is for three months, as we have seen in our previous video. Now, in the absence of annual accounting scheme, someone who has not joined annual accounting scheme, they will have to pay, uh, they will have to submit four, uh, four returns. So it will be one return per quarter. However, if you have joined annual accounting scheme, then you will have to submit one single VAT return. Now the payments will be different as well. So you will have to pay nine payments, which will be each payment will be 10% of the previous year's uh, tax liability, previous year's VAT liability. So th there will be nine payments. So every payment will be 10% of the previous year's VAT liability. So these equal 90% of the previous year's liability. Now the final payment or if you have overpaid, final, final will be the repayment. So that will be made as well. So there will be altogether 10 payments. So you will pay 90% of that already. The final payment will be, we'll have to see how much is our liability. If we have overpaid, we will uh, refund from HM Revenue Custom. However, if we have less paid, then uh, of course we'll have to pay to HM Revenue Custom. Now, when we have to make these payments from months 4 to 12, as it says in the notes as well, these are made at the end of the months 4 to 12 of the, of the year. A balancing payment or repayment is made when the return is filed. Right? A trader can join the scheme. Again, the limit is exactly the same uh, for the 12 months uh, starting on the application to join the scheme. Uh, it's expected to, ex uh, I mean, the, the application to join the scheme is not expected to uh, exceed 1.35 million. So our turnover is less than that, taxable turnover. Uh, if taxable turnover exceeds 1.6 million, the trader will have to leave this scheme. Right, so uh, that is our annual accounting scheme. Now, if you <coughs> excuse me, if you go back to your notes, uh, if you go back to your notes and see when we were looking at the VAT return periods, so we'll have to submit, we'll have to submit uh, uh, one VAT return every quarter, uh, unless you have joined annual accounting scheme. So it is mentioned there, someone who joined annual accounting scheme, they will not have to submit a VAT return every quarter. Right. And our final scheme for today is a flat rate scheme. Now, what is a flat rate scheme? Now, them two was cash accounting and annual accounting scheme. Last one is a flat rate scheme, which is a little different. Normally, what happens is that our VAT rate is 20% normally, on the, which is our standard rate. Obviously, it's the zero rate is at the rate of 0%. But the standard rate is 20%, isn't it? So we have to pay tax at the rate of 20%. But some businesses who are small businesses, HM Revenue and Customs said that because these are small businesses, uh, I will give them a little discount. So they only have to pay tax at the rate of flat 16.5%. Right, so that's what it says in our notes as well. Flat percentage, if you see in the bold, it says, a bold font, it says flat rate percentage for our current tax is 16.5%. Now this is only for our current tax year, it wasn't present in our previous tax year, so in previous tax year it used to be different for every industry in which the business operates. So if we read the notes in the flat rate scheme, it says it's an optional scheme which has been introduced aiming at simplifying the way in which the small businesses calculate their VAT liability. To calculate the VAT liability, simply apply the flat rate percentage to the turnover, which will be tax inclusive turnover, I will explain it to you in a minute. The percentage will depend on the trade sector in which the business falls. Please delete this comment, please delete this statement, which says that percentage will depend upon the trade sector in which the business falls. Please delete uh, this statement because it no longer applies. For now, our uh, flat rate is 16.5% from now on. All right. So please make sure you delete this statement. The percentage will depend upon the trade sector in which the business falls. Our flat percentage is 16.5%. Now, there is different uh, way to calculate the flat rate. So first, we have to see that how much is our sales VAT inclusive, uh, sorry, VAT exclusive, how much is our sales. Say, for example, it is 100,000 pounds. We will have to apply the standard rate of VAT. How much is the standard rate of VAT? 20%. So if sales is... Uh, if the turnover of the sales is uh, 100,000 pounds, <coughs> excuse me, if it is 100,000 pounds, so we'll take 100,000 pounds uh, times 20% uh, which is our standard rate of fat, so to all together will be 120,000 pounds. So that rate was 
20%, which will be 20,000 pounds. Uh, so 20,000 pounds was that, and then 100,000 was sales amount. So we'll add both of them, which will be 120,000 pounds. So that is basically that inclusive amount, isn't it, at the rate of standard, standard rate. So 120,000 pounds, that is that uh, inclusive amount. We then have to apply 16.5% at that uh, VAT inclusive price. All right, so we'll have to apply 16.5% on that amount. So whatever that amount is, that is a flat rate which you have to pay to HM Revenue and Custom. Right, so you will have to pay that amount to HM Revenue and Custom. The bad news is that you will not be able to claim input VAT under the flat rate scheme. So that is bad news because it is just giving the benefit of simplifying the VAT calculation and all these processes because them are small businesses that can't hire the accountants to do them. Uh, to, to do the returns for them. So they said, just pay you know, any, uh, any assistant accountant or whoever. So you only have to, uh, you do not have to do much cal calculations. So what you have to do is, you'll have to pay us uh, tax at the rate of 16.5% flat, but on the, on the VAT inclusive uh, turnover, right? Now that's what it says in the notes, uh, sales exclusive amount times uh, f uh, sales, sorry, sales inclusive amount times flat rate percentage is equal to the amount which is paid to HM Revenue Customs. Now, optional VAT, uh, flat rate scheme has been introduced uh, aimed at simplifying the way in which the business operates, calculate their, uh, in which the businesses calculate their VAT liability. To calculate the VAT liability, simply apply a flat percentage which will be tax inclusive turnover. We'll have to apply the flat rate on that, which is 16.5%. The flat rate percentage depends upon the trade sector in which the business falls. We have deleted this statement. Then it says no, uh, no input VAT is repaid. So that is uh, that is a uh, you know downfall. That is a disadvantage of this uh, of this scheme. That is a drawback of this scheme that you can't claim uh, input VAT. Uh, to join the scheme, the business must have. Uh, a uh, taxable turnover of 150,000 pounds. So that is the limit. So if your turnover is more than 150,000 pounds, you cannot join this scheme. You can only join it if it is less than 150,000 pounds, which means that it is small business, right? So business which is earning 150,000 pounds or less than that, it is a small business. And of course, if the turnover exceeds 230,000 pounds, then you will have to leave this scheme. And another good scheme is if you haven't joined this scheme, if you haven't registered uh, for this scheme, good news is that in the first year when you register, HM Revenue and Custom will give you 1% discount as well. So in first year, it will not be 16.5%, it will be 15.5%. Right, so that is a good news for, uh, for the people who are thinking to join the flat rate scheme. Right, so that was our uh, VAT special rate schemes. Uh, sorry, sorry, VAT special schemes. Uh, so that's end of over this lecture. Please make sure you revise it. It is very, very important, both for F6 and P6 purposes. Examiner can ask you, tell me that uh, he, he might give you a scenario, and he ask you that uh, he might give you the scenario in which he will be, be telling that this person is registered for VAT, uh, his taxable turnover is this much. Could you advise him which scheme he should join? So you'll have to see his scenario. What are his circumstances? Is he worried about submitting returns every quarter? So if he is worried about submitting a, a return in every quarter, then you will suggest that he should join the annual accounting scheme in which he will have to submit only one return. But you will also have to quantify that he will have to pay nine uh, payments, which will be, I mean, 10% of the previous year's VAT liability and then final payment as well, so it could be a repayment as well. Right, so you'll have to communicate that as well, but main thing to consider is, first thing to consider is that whether he can join this scheme or not. So how can we determine? We'll have to see how much is the turnover, right? So 1.35 million is the limit. Then he could also uh, give you another scenario in which uh, examiner can ask that uh, the individual was uh, paying uh, this much of tax, then he's thinking, he heard about flat rate scheme, but he's not sure if it would be better for him to join the flat rate scheme or the continuing to do the normal annual accounting scheme or whatever. So then you will have to quantify that how much are his input tax, right? So say for example, if someone uh, doing the business, they have too much uh, purchases which are, uh, on which he's paying the input tax. So if I have a business, I'm doing too much purchases on which I'm paying the input tax. 
So although there will be benefit if I register for flat rate scheme, I will have to pay tax at the reduced rate of 16.5%. But the disadvantage is that because my purchases are of a lot of amount. So if I am doing a lot of purchases, on that I'm paying the VAT, I won't be able to reclaim that VAT. I won't be able to go to HM Revenue Custom and say this is input VAT because input VAT is not claimable under the flat rate scheme. So these are different things which you have to consider while answering the question, uh, so while advising your clients as well while sitting in the office. Right, so this uh, that's end of our video lecture. We'll do a couple of questions as well. You do not have to worry about that. We'll do a couple of questions uh, with regards to that as well, so then you will understand in a better way. I will see you in the next video, and we'll continue our journey. Goodbye.